My name is Ari Jaffe. I'm a physician specializing in lung disease and I work at the University of Illinois at Chicago and at the Jesse Brown VA. Well, I see a lot of COPD being a pulmonologist and specifically working at the VA hospital. Um, I don't know if people realize it's the fourth leading cause of death in the United States and the rates are climbing faster than the first three leading causes. In fact, more women today die of COPD than men. So we need to be aware of this disorder, not just in our veterans who smoked were men, but also in the women, and then in the general population. Well, I was diagnosed last October, right after running in Chicago last year with COPD. My father, he had emphysema, and actually he died 15 years ago, and he was just 49 when he died. He spent the last 15 years of the of the of his life with the, with that illness. I have an aunt that has COPD and I see how she's suffering and I think it's really important to know. Well I know from personal experience of seeing her that she has difficulty breathing. She has difficulty walking very far because she runs out of breath and it's absolutely debilitating for a woman in her 70s. I saw the COPD sign. Uh, my dad died of COPD back in 1981. I can remember my dad, he was a heavy smoker, and uh, he would hang over the fence just trying to get air, you know, trying to breathe, take in air. Uh, my husband has COPD and we've been dealing with it for about 10 years. You know what, I think it was gradual, but we really didn't notice it because I would notice him, you know, being short of breath during certain things, but it wasn't where it affected him that much. And then all of a sudden he got up one day and it was just like, you know, he said there was like a rock on his chest and he was just couldn't breathe. Patients sometimes are a little nervous about finding out if they do have a disability or if they do have uh, signs or symptoms that may be suggestive of COPD. But if they're smokers and they have cough or other signs of symptoms of shortness of breath, they should get tested. It's easy. It doesn't hurt. I developed a uh, respiratory d disease, got pneumonia, and then I went through a series of tests over the last year. And it's helpful to understand what what it is and you know how like I said how to try to minimize the things that you know affect you. When somebody in your family has COPD it's not only affecting that person it affects everybody in the family. It affects the grandkids, the kids. I mean you know he can't pick up the grandkids like he wants to. He can't um, go out and play with him like he wants to. The doctor and myself and my husband actually you know, had a bunch of visits to get him set up on the program, which is very important because my husband wouldn't be able to function now if we didn't watch his disease and take care of his disease.